girl. Really don't want to be out there in the cold. You slap the pigs and shovel out the stalls too? Holy. No, we have a hired hand for that. As a matter of fact, he should be here any minute. Really, does he drive a pickup truck? Yeah. Oh, he's in a ditch about a mile down the road. Should be safe, it's okay. I checked. There's no one there. But I'm here. Because I threatened to call the cops if you left town, Daniel? Yes, you did. Not that it matters, but... Did you? Call them? <laughs> Not yet, but I will. Not if I have anything to say. there, Emily. Pistol? Glove, Meg. It's cold in here. <laughs> I actually thought I was going to shoot you. <laughs> well, it would be the first time you used a gun to solve a problem. You are a problem. But those days are over. I will never let Paul push me over the edge again. I'm glad to hear that. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to defend myself. Against you? W w defend my child? Defend myself? By running away? And kidnapping Daniel and the baby? Wait a minute. I never said anything about kidnapping Daniel, and as far as my baby According goes... According to Henry, he said that you were planning on leaving... Well, Henry doesn't know what he's talking about. So you weren't planning on taking Daniel out of the country? Make it. There's an ice storm. I mean, even if I could get the planes to take off, come on. And Tom's the district attorney. Why would I antagonize him like that? He'd have every cop in the state after me the second I left the driveway. So Tom knows nothing of your plans. We've discussed the situation. He's actually quite sympathetic. He understands that I need to put some distance between myself and Paul. I kind of find it hard to believe that Tom will allow you to take Daniel out of the country. I mean, you don't even share custody. And there was a time where you didn't even have visitation rights. And why is that? Because you can't be trusted, no, Emily. No, Paul can't be trusted. But you haven't gotten there yet. But you will. Trust me, things will go wrong. You'll figure it out and you'll be sorry you didn't listen to me. Emily, look. I know you had your feelings hurt. My feelings hurt? Okay, you've suffered. But don't make this worse. You're out of jail. You're out of the psych ward. Uh, uh, you're gonna have a baby. Don't blow this. Uh, uh, have your baby. Focus on your career. Enjoy Daniel. You could have a pretty nice life if you don't make every moment into such drama. No, you... Paul will never go near this child again. And thanks to you and your interference, I have to make the kind of choice no mother should ever have to make. I have to choose between my son and my unborn child. Oh, and Paul's going to blame you for this, I guarantee it. No more wedding, no, no, no engagement, no, no ring around your finger. Because of you, I have to leave my son behind and go into hiding. Oh, Emily, you're being ridiculous. I am going to leave town and I am never coming back. And what are you going to live on? You can't get a job. You're about to give birth. You, you have no family, yeah, no friends. Thanks to you, Meg. Oh, Emily, come on. Are you seriously going to go to God knows where and leave Daniel? No, I will send for my son. Oh, and Tom will just happily pack up his little suitcase and stick him on a plane after you've kidnapped Paul's child. No, my child. My child. That you would use this child to hurt Paul because he's marrying me. That you would deprive this child of his father. How can you even think like that? I had a good teacher. Wait, don't go, okay? Not out in that storm, not right now. You, you'll hurt yourself and the baby. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to take that chance. Wait, why, Meg? So you can convince me to stay? So, so I can work all day with my kid in daycare while you and Paul are planning your dream wedding? I don't think so. Do you even know why you're leaving? I mean, first it was because you didn't want Paul to see his child. Then you didn't want to see us getting married. Now now you're leaving because your life didn't turn out the way you planned it? It all boils down to the same thing. Yes, it does. You're jealous. And I understand I was jealous, too. I know how that feels, but you have to find a way to move on. That's the plan, Meg. Move on emotionally. I can't. Not here. Not now. 
Not with you, Paul, trying to humiliate me. And lie to me and use me every time I turn around. Maybe it's just too hard for me. Did you ever think of that? Maybe I need to go to someplace new. Somewhere where there are no memories, where there's no chance of me running into Paul. Somewhere where I can go and love my baby and, and not hold my breath every time his father wants to take him out the front door. But I can't do that here. I can't see it. I can't see a future here. I hear you. Good. Now get out of my way. Okay, now wait. Wait, there has to be a way to work this out. I mean, I know how hard it is putting the pieces back together with all these reminders, but you can't leave town, Emily. You're a mother. You can't leave Daniel. I don't have a choice. Yes, you do. God, man, get out of my way, please. Okay, fine. Fine, you can leave, but just not tonight. Not in this storm. I don't have a choice. If I don't leave now, I will never get a chance. He, oh, to, will you wait? Look, you, you, you could leave, all right? We'll work things out. Oh, why don't you call your mom? Tell her what you're thinking. Call my mother? Oh, that's a great idea. Call Look, my mom. Since, since you're so close to the due date, don't you think it would make sense if you took your mom with you? I mean, she is a doctor. Uh, she, she, she could help you deliver the baby. She, she could help you uh, have some privacy and have some, some extra help at the same time. I mean, and then in a month or two, yeah. you can... In a month or two, when you fight for custody to take my child away from me? No. Oh. Yes. That's what Paul wants. Paul wants full custody, Meg. But he's not going to get it. Because I won't be here. Meg! Paul! Paul! What? Meg! Meg, open up this door right now! Meg! Meg, open this door! Meg, open up! Meg, open up this door right now! Talk about kidnapping charges. I'm gonna have you thrown in jail. Meg, open up this door right now! Meg, you think he's gonna marry you in a jail cell? You can forget it. You know our history. Come on, Paul, pick up. Please pick up. He doesn't want you, Meg. He doesn't want you or me. All he wants is his baby. Open up the door. Paul, Paul, when you get this message, you need to call me. To lock Emily in the bar, and she was threatening to run away. And I don't know if you heard, but all hell is breaking loose out here. It's sleeting and it's hailing. And I was afraid she was going to get into an accident. And Paul, Paul, The roads are impossible. I'll pay you 500 bucks. I'll give you $1,000 to take me.